Spears, Princess Strawberry here, and I'm doing the vlog outside today. So, I'm going to go on an adventure today. I heard some scary, spooky stories about this forest or woods, whatever you want to call it. So, let's go check it out. So, I last time I came to this place, I noticed two human-sized holes in the ground, and it was kind of freaky. I'm hoping I can kind of find it again to show you guys. Also, there is some homeless people staying at this forest, or we we're just going to call it a forest, okay? Just because we got to pick a name. So, I am here right now. The sun is bright, but you know, bright lights don't bother me. So, anyway, moving on. I have an emergency bag here, just full of some things I might need when I'm on the go, you know certain items I already ate lunch before I came out here to do this video for you guys so I won't be needing to go and have a snack or a stop or whatever reason and the best part is uh, I'm pretty sure the other side of this forest or woods whatever you want to call it um there's supposed to be bathrooms now whether or not they're open if they're closed I guess we got to do old style and go in the bush that's basically what we got to do so right here it looks like there's two different pathways and you know I already know where the first one leads so I mean just kind of doing a video now that one leads up to a hill and this one leads in further into the forest so let's go down this pathway and let's see where it goes well I kind of already know where it goes because like I've been here before you know there was a lady walking a dog and either she walks fast or she just poof. I know she went that way because she could not have gone this way already. I would have seen her. Anyways, moving on. So, a lot of you have been asking me if I could do more vlogging videos outdoors and do adventure type ones because I did quite a few before. And you guys seem to enjoy it. So, wow, that's a pretty plant. So luckily, while I'm recording, I am able to take pictures as well. So I might take some cool pictures and post on my social media sites. So, I mean, now, just a heads up, the homeless people that do stay here at night, they only spend the night here. They take off somewhere during the day. So we probably most likely won't be seeing them. It's just the wind. No need to get all spooked and scary now. I mean, so that lady must have took must have taken her dog the other direction because I don't see her this way. So, so I'm already seeing some trash. You always got to have those litter bugs. So here we are. Now this forest or woods, whatever you want to call it, is technically called Piddock. I guess the sign is like broken, but anyways. So now we have an option. We can go this way. Or we can go that way. And there's supposed to be a stoned pavement path that leads right through the forest. Or, you know, we could do what I always do and screw the path and go my way. Now, there are some apartment buildings and houses nearby. So, I mean... It just kind of freaked me out. And plus the two human-sized holes that I talked about earlier are actually in the middle of the forest somewhere. The only thing that happened when I was here before is getting cobwebs in my hair and having to go home and get them out. And when I took a shower, I found a spider in my hair. That's not the best feeling. It's very windy right now. It's not too bad out. I have in my left pocket here, I have my winter hat. So here's my winter hat, Oh, if I can get it to go the right way. So there we go, we have a winter hat just in case my ears or head get cold, we gotta stay warm. And in the right pocket of my jacket, we have packed some winter gloves, just in case my hands get cold while vlogging. You know, little things that you should be prepared about. Damn, that sun's um, lit, bright. I think bright is a more appropriate word for this. But yeah, I'm just going to keep going down until maybe I see them. I'm not sure if they're further down this way or if I have to physically walk through. I can't quite remember. All I know is that there were two huge human-sized holes. And how I know that is 
because a friend and I came down here before. The first time I noticed them on my own and the second time when I brought a friend down here, she actually laid in that hole. And she's taller than me. I'm five something feet and she was like six something feet and she says her head and feet would fit perfectly in the hole. So, is this where the gate is? There was a gate here at one point. Oh, that sun is really bright. Maybe the gate's either down further or someone tore it off, but so that looks pretty cool. But anyways, I'm going to continue walking. It's just the wind. So like I said, we can either go this way or we can go this way. I'm going to go this way for a little bit. So I'm probably not going to vlog the whole time I'm here just because like my phone's crap on basically shit on battery and battery will die. You know, I think I'm in the right area. You'd be surprised what you see out here. The one time I actually came out here. So yeah, the one time I actually came out here, um, I saw this kind of like a blonde kind of yellow dog. And obviously you guys know the rule. Don't go up to wild or stray animals because you don't know what they're like. I didn't see any owner around like I'm doing this basically. I don't see anyone and he's just wandering walking through the forest. He obviously left me alone, so I'm like, cool, I'll just keep walking. Um, but like people keep track of your dogs unless it's a wild dog, I don't know. And there is really no wild animals in this forest or woods, again, whatever you want to call it. So the only things I've seen is squirrels, chipmunks, maybe a beaver. I'm not quite sure what that one animal was that went into the sewer. And we're not going into sewers just to find out. So I'm going to keep walking this way. We're kind of off the path, but like you're not even supposed to be walking through here. There's a path right there. But you know, to find these two large human sized holes, if they still exist, they're in this area. They're either down here further, or I might have to walk that way. You know, let's walk more this way. So I'll keep you guys up to date. Okay, so I'm back here where you guys just seen the gate and the stairs. And I saw that same lady walking her dog up the stairs. I'm like, damn, that woman moves by yes. Anyway, moving on. Okay, what happened here? Someone tearing up the ground and got angry? Moving on. Okay, so as I'm vlogging and walking, which is very dangerous, but you know, I pay attention. So you are allowed to fish in this area, but I wouldn't eat the fish because the water's polluted. Um, but you have to obviously have a license. What is this over here? It's a pine cone. <laughs> Duh, it's a pine cone forest. I see pine cones everywhere. But um, you can go biking here. I see people walking through here with their dogs all the time, just kind of chilling and going on exploring adventures like I am basically. So I don't know where those two human, oh, it's a squirrel. <laughs> scared me for a minute. It smells nice in this forest, man. Now, I had a couple of people ask me to do an overnight challenge at some forest or woods or something. And I refused to. Sorry, it's just I know right now. Mr. Squirrel, what's up? Oh, I heard squealing. There's another squirrel. They're going to be everywhere because we're going to get winter soon. So, I mean... What's over here? It looks like water. Anyone up for a swim? I'm sorry, I would join you, but I didn't bring my swimsuit. Nah, don't go swimming in the water, man. It's um, polluted and disgusting. It's a chipmunk chasing a squirrel. That is freaking adorable. See him? Maybe I should zoom in. Where'd he go? Oh, hi, Mr. Chipmunk. I'm not here to hurt you, but it's kind of cute that you're chasing the squirrel. You fighting over food? Yeah, typical. I hear a train. I didn't know there's a train nearby. I don't think that chipmunk is too happy. I think the squirrel stole his food. 
moving on. I keep saying that because I don't know. It's just kind of funny. So like I said, we see other people walking down the path. I'm not exactly sure, like I said, where those two human-sized holes were that I found once before. They might have got covered up. So I haven't been here for over a year, basically. And a lot of people call this forest Piddock Forest or Piddock Lake, considering there's like a huge lake over there. And on the other side is like camping site, but you have to pay to go there. And you can also, sw the water apparently over, they have pools and stuff over there that you can go swimming in. But again, you gotta pay. So this side is free. But I walked through the forest. I can't find what I wanted to show you guys. But I mean, it smells nice. It's not too cold out. I haven't had to use my mitts or hat yet. And I thought I would just do a little bit of a vlog showing you guys. Um, so, I mean, let's go back through here. Off the path. Cause you know, I don't stick on the path very long. I think a chipmunk or squirrel was burying their nuts. That might be what that is. Okay, the only thing about walking through trees is the fact that spiders like to make cobwebs. What is that? Is that just a rock? For a second, I thought that green stick was a snake. Okay. Had to look again. There's an arrow pointing that way. I hear trains. I hear trees hitting each other. Well, I'm going to keep walking this way and see if I can find those two human-sized holes. I keep talking about them. But I haven't seen them yet. And there's supposed to be a small hill. Apparently, um, a lot of people decide to ride their bike over and got injured. And some people call it Dead Man's Hill. That's way that way. So I might show you guys that. So, but I'm going to keep walking and hopefully I can find them. I would like to show you guys. Sounds like some duck. But anyway, this is kind of creepy. Like, look at this. It's like something was buried right here. It's kind of weird. It's like someone dug something up right there and buried it because the ground ain't even. Anyway, I'm going to continue walking. And no, I'm not really scared walking through here. I've done it multiple times. Now, if it was nighttime, then yeah, I'd probably be a little nervous. So, we're at the gate again. I walked that way. I don't see what I'm looking for. So, I'm going to continue walking this way. And if I find them, I'll let you know. I keep hearing trees creaking, if that's the right word to use. And I mean, it's not exactly windy, but... Now, I've been walking for quite a bit now, and I haven't seen them, so I'm thinking they might have got covered up. There's a lot of broken branches. There's supposed to be construction workers coming through here at least once a year to break down the broken branches and pick up any broken branches, and they reuse it for whatever. That stick is sticking out of the ground. Okay. Anyways. That was me stepping on that, so don't freak out, people. Stepping on a stick and breaking. But I'm going to continue walking because this goes quite a bit. Also, here's a big tip for you guys. Wear comfortable shoes and wear long pants because you don't know if there's any poison ivy. That tree is a little wilted. I'd say. Poor tree. There are a lot of dead trees. I've also noticed some of the trees will have a red X on them. And I'm thinking that means the construction workers are going to have to cut it down because it's um, dying. Or it's dead. Are those claw marks? Why is the tree white like that? I mean, the rest of the tree ain't white like that. Anyways. Well, we got some creaking and squeaking trees. It's just because it's windy and they're so close together. So, I've been walking again for about 10 minutes. And still haven't seen nothing. But I'm not going to give up. So if I don't find them today, I might have to come back another day and do another video to see if I can find them. Because they're basically getting to the end of the pathway. I keep hearing things. It's just a forest. 
so I'm walking and I see another sign. It's another arrow pointing that way. There's a person walking with two dogs way down there. So I'm going to have to put the camera down for a bit because I don't like to record people without permission. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I have a question. Yep. Not trying to freak you out. But hey, when you're walking from that end, have you seen two human-sized holes? What, human-sized holes? I call them human-sized because my friend came here a while ago. Marty. <laughs> and uh, my friend laid in it and she fit perfectly in it like I don't know if someone was trying to bury something or what but I'm trying to find them have you seen them at that end? no because I searched completely that way and oh. haven't seen them because I'm like I came here a year ago and they were sitting right next to each other and I know it's in this part of the forest oh you know what try looking down there because, okay. oh. yeah there is kind of like a kind of like a trench kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, if okay. Cool, but Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I ignoring you? Yeah, he's, he's being dumb. He just wants a stick. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's lots of sticks in the forest. Knock yourself out. Where'd it go? There we go. But okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. So that gentleman, that guy was very nice to tell me to try looking down here. He kind of knows what I'm talking about. I wasn't trying to freak him out or anything. But anyways, he says to try looking down here. Like, we keep seeing these arrows that are pointing this way, and I'm not sure why. For anyone that's been through this forest multiple times would know how to get through and out and or the different entrances and exits. So he wasn't specific about where to look. His dogs were cute, though. The one was barking at me, and he threw the stick for it, and then... The dog basically chased it and then picked up another stick. So I think the dog's a little confused as to what stick his owner threw. But I'm going to try looking over down here. Because that guy came from this side. And I told him I came from that end. I looked all over there. So I haven't seen them. But anyways, so we're going to move on. Oh my god, I put the camera down for five minutes. We found it. Well, one of them. They're supposed to be beside each other. This is what I mean by human size. He calls it a trench. I call it a human size hole. Everyone has their own opinion. So here's one. Let's continue looking. The other one was supposed to be right beside. Unless it's right here. Oh, someone covered it up with sticks and crap. You know, this is kind of freaky. This is some freaky shit. So I'm going to take a picture and done. It looks like there'd be an arm there, one here, and a head right there. So that guy was very helpful. We found him, but they're supposed to be beside each other. Like, right beside each other. So I don't know what's going on here. But this one's covered in sticks and whatever. I think someone was trying to cover it up. I'm not sure. It's kind of creepy. I wasn't actually planning to find it today, but I'm so glad I did. So here's no, here's the second one. Just gonna do a quick little walk around. I swear if anything moves, I don't care. I'll find the nearest weapon and I'll throw it at you. But yeah, here's the one. It, he calls it a trench. I guess that'd be the proper word to call it. But there's one anyway. So, and I'm gonna quickly walk back over here and go to the first one. I'm so surprised that I actually found it within like almost 20 minutes of this video. And here's number two. So anyways, we're gonna continue going, walking, and I'm gonna show you guys what they used to call Dead Man's Hill. This is what I found creepy about this forest. And like I said, my friend laid in the first one, which is probably this one, and she said she got the weirdest shivers down her back and the weirdest feeling like someone was watching her. We're not gonna lay in the hole, by the way, or I'm not gonna do it, but so glad I found them. So anyways, I'm glad I did this video today. It took me a while to find it. So I just got to remember it's closer to the entrance of the forest. But there's number one. And there's number two. So we're going to try and find what they call Dead Man's Hill. Again with the arrows. It's pointed this way. So do you mean I have to go this way? Let's see. There's a broken beer bottle. What? Were people drinking out here or something? Probably. I mean, 
if they're it's teenagers and they're trying to hide from the parents that they're drinking or smoking, whatever, yeah, they'd probably come out here to do it. I mean, you'd be surprised what you find out here. I, um, personally, last time I came out here by myself, I saw broken beer bottles, a case of empty, like, it was basically a case of beer with empty bottles in it. Um, a lot of different used items. We're just going to come out and say it because I'm very honest. Found some used condoms. I found used Kleenex. I actually found some clothing items that look like they had blood stains on them, so that's kind of creepy. But that hill that I was telling you about, people call it Dead Man's Hill. Straight ahead. There's a sewer right here. Or I'm part of a sewer. 1979. Wow. That's pretty old. You can tell it's rusted. I'm going to put a stick down in it and see if I can hear water. Now come on people, you got to be honest with me. You've done this before. I didn't hear nothing. Okay, we're going to give this a second shot and try a little heavier stick. I heard something that time. It's like water kind of but anyways moving on <laughs> I'm surprised I did not see that before unless I didn't come down this way but anyways to what they call dead man's hill yo what the I swear I just saw a white whatever vision person walk past it wasn't an actual person it's like a ghost I don't know they were just starting from here and I just saw them walk that way Yo, I wish I could have caught that on camera, but then again, not everything pops up on camera. That is some creepy... Wow, okay, well, we're going to continue. Um, if there are any spirits out here, we got some dog prints and stuff. But if there is any spirits out here, I'm not here to harm you. I'm just walking through, doing a video for YouTube because a lot of my fans requested it. Continuing. Well, we got to get to the root of the problem, and we got to go through the root path. I'm very bad at jokes. But yeah, there's two paths here. This one, you can go up, but it's very bumpy, especially if you're taking a bike down it. Trust me, I should know. And I posted a video yesterday of me doing a safety test on my bike, and I showed you guys all the scratches on my helmet. That's why. Don't go down bumpy roads with bikes. You might think you can make it, but chances are, are there's three paths. One, two, three. Let's go down this one. It doesn't seem, it seems less creepy. Another sewer. This one says 1979. Whoa. So that must be there. That must mean there are sewers. Sewer. Yeah. Can I even speak today? There must be a sewer underneath us. You know, it'd be very cool because I've seen it happen before, especially in the one Scooby-Doo movie um, with the time capsule thing. Scooby-Doo and the gang went under their school to the previous school that was buried and they got a time capsule of some sort and it's kind of cool. So we could be walking or I could be walk. Hello. Hi, how are you? That's interesting. I'm gonna keep walking. Okay, bye. As I was saying, before I got interrupted by some animal, um, but just imagine this, if I'm walking, if I'm walking on this ground right now, underneath could be another building or there could be someone living in the sewers you never know what the possibilities are now there are i've seen people open up sewers before that's fine but the thing is i don't want to go in sewers because it's just creepy it smells gross it's disgusting so but anyways i'm gonna go find that hill now i'm pretty sure i'm going the right way i haven't been here for a while so continuing Another sewer. Interesting. So, 
so it's been about 20 minutes since I've been doing the vlog. My phone's about 40%. Like I said, my battery on my phone is absolute shit. I know a bunch of people, a bunch of vloggers that do videos like this bring a spare battery. But I don't got a spare battery. Um, and why there's no sense in me really buying a spare battery when I plan to get a new phone in like a month, two months anyway. So... There's like a building or something right there in the middle of the forest. Let's go check it out. We got a little river going on here. We got another sewer. Jeez. What's with all the sewers? What's this one? 1979. Isn't one that what the other one said? Wow, that's old. I'm trying not to step in the water because the winter boots that I have on, I don't want to get wrecked. I just got them from a family member the other day. Should have worn my rain boots. But, you know, I didn't think of that when... Oh, slippery. I did this video. If this is the building I think it is, then you guys are in for a story. Whoa, it's slippery. Whoa, 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 yo. I almost said yo, ho, ho. I'm not a pirate, though. Yup, this is the building I remember. What's with all the vandalism? That was never here when I came here a year ago. You people don't got no respect. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the building they keep, they store some of the boats and different things that they use in the, this area. I'm not sure. I don't understand graffiti. Every boat, I hate you, bus, everybody. Okay, so the sign right there says Dragon Boat Club. It's locked. Like, how many locks do you need? You got one, two, at least three locks on that door. They really don't want someone to get in there. But anyway, story time. I came here one time, and again, what's with the graffiti on the benches? Anyways, I sat on this bench one time. And I completely, don't ask me how, I left my phone on here, I went all the way home. And I'm like freaking out, where's my phone? And I told my grandma, I have to go back to this area because I left my phone here. I'm so lucky it was still sitting on the bench. And I'm lucky I grabbed it when I did because it started pouring rain and thundering. And I'm like, oh, and at that time my phone was not in a case at all. There was no screen protector on it, nothing. So. I'm so lucky. How lucky can you get? I'm not exactly sure what they're trying to say, but they got some. That's a skull. That's pretty neat. That's pretty cool, actually. Some graffiti I like, but some I don't. Some of it, I just can't read a lot of graffiti in general. So behind this little building here, there's supposed to be that hill I told you about. There we go, we got a wide open shot. That's nice. That's the path that you're supposed to stick to, but I don't follow the rules. So, there's a gate here. What's the point in having two gates here with barbed wire? By the way, don't ever hop over a fence with barbed wire. It's gonna cut your skin and rip your clothes. Just a heads up. But why would you put this here? You know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if they had a third gate and they blocked it right here. I'm hearing some animal chatter. Sounds like my guinea pig when she's pissed off. Anyways, but I'm thinking they had a third gate and they were blocking off this area. They didn't want anyone going behind, but you know, I'm gonna do it anyway. What is behind here? There's Dead Man's Hill, that they call Dead Man's Hill. I knew it was around this area. My lord, we're at the bottom. That's no fun. Let's fix that. And there we go. We're at the top of the hill. So, the reason why they call this Dead Man's Hill is because people would ride their bikes over it. It actually used to be a lot bigger. And that gap wasn't in the middle. But they used to ride their bike up it and try and make a jump off here. And every time they did, someone would have a broken bone or they hurt themselves badly. But how lucky can I be today? But that's the building. Why are people riding a bias or whatever all over the building? Like even the back there. 
man, people don't have respect. I'm not sure why they have it all locked up. Like, I never see anyone here when I was here. So, I mean, 